Right guys, bit of a rush this morning. Should have got up earlier. Um, got the trailer on. So, I've just put the trailer on the van. First time I've actually put the trailer on the van, to be honest. Had it on the other van, but uh, never had it on this van. So, um, put a little trailer on and uh, I'm gonna get down to HBC or IAA now. And, um, see if we can pick this Fiesta up, so let's take a cruise and uh, see if we can get down here. We actually got up late, but who cares? We'll get there in time. I'll see you down there. I'm down here now, I've got down to uh, IIA and I'm just waiting outside the gate. Nice young lady's in there and she's um, she's gonna let me know when I'm allowed to go in because there's one loading up at the moment. It used to be the process before, you used to be able to just drive in, get your, uh, pay your money, but that was when we all paid cash. We're not allowed to pay cash no more, big shame. Um, and so we've got to go in there go by another one going out to pick up some more yeah so we'll we'll sit and wait here until we can go in so there's a guy in there apparently loading up two vehicles at the moment and then uh, we're gonna be able to go in and, and uh, hopefully pick up our vehicle and, and get it home so well, guys this is our queue to go in I think speak to the lady be reversing chances are going on. Go forward. There we go. Oh, there it comes. So it looks like we've uh, Right, so here is, here is the car. Faultless man doesn't really want to be in it. So we'll get in them wheels. Whoop! Whoop! Down you go. Okay. Now nah, go down, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lovely, perfect job. Is the keys in it? Thanks mate, appreciate that. So, here we go, first look. Oh my god, what have we got here? Oh, that ain't too bad. So, garage in there. Merely a scratch. He's in it, so. Okay. Anyway. Let's see if we can get it strapped down and. Get it on.
and that is how you get it off the trailer <laughs> so uh, let's get this lot packed away and uh, have a nice cup of tea I bought that for yesterday, yesterday. well actually I didn't buy it yesterday I bought it the day before but I picked it up yesterday and from what I can see of the weather we're going to be getting quite a bit of rain now as you can see my garage is in a bad way now I need to get this back paint shop ready well not maybe not to paint it in here but I certainly want to get the quarter pulled and uh, get the other dent pulled out the door this morning I'm going for the mass clear up what I'm going to do is cue the time lapse and tidy up so let's tidy up Right guys, well, as you can see, big rush, just in the nick of time really. So, uh, got the garage tidy, which, well, I mean, tidy in terms of I'll get that yester in here and get it pulled. So, uh, yep, good morning's work that, so uh, off to the tip now. So, go and dump this rubbish, and then uh, maybe tomorrow, I might even be able to get it in here. So. That's it for now. See you tomorrow. Right, welcome back to another day in the garage. Absolutely tipping it down out there. So glad I got the garage cleared up the other day because that's going to enable me to get this Fiesta brought into here and uh, we're going to be able to commence working on it and getting that rear quarter pulled. Yeah, so I've got a bucket of soapy water there behind me. I'm uh, going to get the doors open. i uh, going to give the car a little wash down. Because I don't really want to bring it in here. It's, it's pretty grimy already. So yeah, let's get the doors open and uh, start washing her down. Right, so that's got that washed. Don't know if the car's wetter or I'm wetter, to be honest, but uh, anyway, give it a bit of a wash. What we're gonna do now is get it inside the workshop and uh, let's get it dried down a little bit. And then we'll be able to have a proper little inspection, get the door shut, all be cozy in here. Might even go and knock a cup of tea up and then we'll be back and uh, we'll have a proper look around it and show you what we've got for the car. Right, so, what have we got here? 2012 Fiesta Z-Tec. This is the main damage on the vehicle. So, uh, not too terrible. I mean, glad we got it now. The old rust is just starting to set in where it's been gouged there, but that's that's not too bad. We can, we can get that out. A little crease there. And there's a little crease in the other door. We'll show that in a minute. Inside, it's not 
terrible. It's quite clean actually. No, actually it's not clean, is it? It's filthy. By my standards. Um, it'll be like brand new when it comes out of here. 48,085 miles. Uh, it's quite nice. It's got AC. Got all the usual bits, electric windows and so on and so forth. It's got one of these dash cams and I've just discovered it's the Ape Man variety. Whatever they are, I don't know. But I did notice it's actually got the rear one as well. Yeah, I mean the actual upholstery is actually very clean. So it's, uh, other than a bit of detailing work, inside pretty good. It, it was just really grimy to be honest. It still is, the door shuts, look at them, they're filth. I know it's this mirror cap, slightly a different, it's like been painted with an aerosol, so they might have to have that off and paint that. But I mean, there's a few stone chips and stuff around it, but nothing major, but the bonnet, that's gonna need some serious mopping work. So it's got a lot of, lot of rubbish on the paint now. Right, so this side, um, not too terrible. Bit of a dent in that door. This is a shame, because we'll have to then paint this door at least. This mirror capping's all right though, but definitely someone's had a go at that other one, so we'll, we'll whip that off and make that nice and white again. So the, oh, let's have a look in the boat. Let's see what we got in the boat. I did actually notice, before we go in the boat, I did actually notice that we've got always a favourite locking wheel nut key and number plates. And also, before we get to that, it's on the side there, which is a proper Brucey bonus. So here we go. Let's have a look in the boot. Oh, not a lot in there, is there? Let's see if we've got a spare. Oh, that's handy. It's mint. Ain't been on. No, that ain't been on. That has not been on this car. So that's quite good. The book pack and two keys. Now, for anyone that's bought salvage before, you might know that book pack is rare. Let's see if it tells us, usually at the back, if it's had any services. Oh, look, Daggy Motors. No, so it's not been it's not been looked after by Dagnum Motors because the last service was at 2013, so it was like a year old then. 3,600 miles. Anyway, it's good to have the book pack. Really, not a lot in there, but uh, we can we can make some notes of the uh, if we give it a service, we'll we'll stamp that book up. Just to say that we've actually serviced the car. That's the walk round done. Let's start tearing it apart. So, wheel arch liner, get that out, gonna get access to this thing. That could be the last two little annoying, stupidest clips ever. Get out there. Go on, but there's another one. Go on, is there? Right, <laughs> let's 
so annoying. You can't do nothing without getting the old wheel arch line off. Hmm. I think we might need a flap. Anyway, it's black enough. My mate has got one, so we might get a nickel now from this one. Come on the neck, or oh, winning by neck. No, we ain't winning, are we? We'll get this neck out, one way or the other. Right guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Next time I'm going to be getting on and pulling out the rear quarter and then we'll move on and we'll be able to do body filler and paint and all the other good stuff that comes along with repairing one of these salvage vehicles. And that filler neck pain in the backside. Anyway, for now, I'm out and I'll see you on the next one.